I was inspired to do this hunt pretty much after the live stream on Monday, where we got a bunch of raccoon dogs and quite a lot of male raccoon dogs just hunting in their feed and rest times, and I thought, it's finally time to go out here, do a hunt, solely focus on raccoon dogs in their drink time, and just kind of see if that has any different results. Just from all the time that we spent in the feed and rest times, we ended up getting an orange female raccoon dog, which is a rare, but we still have yet to see a level 9, so I thought maybe this would be a way to do it, and no doubt we've been missing some just by hunting the other zones, so we'll see what we end up with today, but starting off with a little bonus level 2, and we'll just head out from here. Now, essentially what we're doing here is hunting a species that is pretty common, like down here in the south, raccoon dogs are absolutely everywhere, so we're bound to run into a ton of these things, and of course we're hunting them in their drink zones, which is going to just exacerbate that. So, basically what I think we're going to do is try to only include the decent ones that we see. That is assuming we're going to find some decent ones, because I mentioned Monday's livestream. We had two max weight estimate raccoon dogs in that hunt, both level 7s, but they were both the 8-10 to 10 kilo weight estimate, which I believe is the first time we even had two of those in the same session, so... I don't know that we're going to see a bunch or any max weight ones today, but I'd say anything level 6 and up will probably include from here on out. Things below that we'll just take out and get full respawns, because while we have shot a ton of these things, there is no guarantee that we aren't miles away from actually seeing a diamond, so every one that we get the opportunity to take will be important. As for these two though, a level 2 female again, and then our level 5 I think is the black white for type, or at least that's the track I have, but that is most certainly not this guy. Light brown and 6.43, but at least we got our first male, and we're just going to be working our way through the different lakes. The total length of raccoon dog drink time is 45 real minutes, it's from midnight to 3am, so we'll probably do 2 or 3 runs, try to get to every spot if we can, and really just do an exhaustive search of hopefully every spot they can drink. And already... We're on to our first decent raccoon dog, level 7, about 250 yards out, and this goes back to all the time spent on the red fox grind and all that kind of stuff. We have to 0 for 300 to hit dead on at 250, so that should be just fine, literally send it flying. We'll go ahead and place a marker over there just to make it a little bit easier to locate it in the dark, and then we'll get what should be our first guaranteed goal to the hunt. Looks like the light brown fur type again. But double lung them 7.79, he's actually almost max wood estimate, so maybe that's a good sign. Nearly hard shot him with the 243 there. Kind of nice to use the 243 rifle again too. Something that I think we're going to do sometime in the near future is compare the 243 rifle to the 243 pistol. Just accuracy, damage, all that kind of stuff. But for now, just having that little bit of extra confidence to be able to make those shots plus the higher capacity. I think it's going to make a big difference. There's a decent chance at some stage we spook something out that we don't see, especially with it being dark. And just having an extra round, maybe after a poor hit on the run, definitely could help us save a medal. I think maybe we're getting a decent little strategy here. We've got a level 6 and a level 4 side by side, so we'll try to take them. They're just about 150 out, and I think normally they do just hang around long enough to get a second shot off. There's also a female which I would like to get. I'm still kind of going with the idea that getting the females does seem to help with the spawns as well. That shot was just too low, so I think that one's going to get away. But essentially what I want to do for at least like the first maybe two runs through to 3 a.m. is check all of the smaller lakes, because those are going to be the ones that take some time to get in between. That's going to cost us a little bit of time, but we're almost at the end of Raccoon Dog Drink Time anyway. But then for like the last run or maybe last two runs, depending on how long it takes, we'll go for like the longer coastlines and just hopefully that'll work out instead of trying to do one small lake, then one big lake and kind of switching back and forth. I think this might end up being a little bit more efficient. We do though, and I don't know which one is which, have a potential second gold here in the level six. Hopefully it's this one I think it should be, but just kind of depends what direction things ran in. That is, I think, the gray fur type, and that's the level 4, so now we get to go all the way back around and wait on that guy, which at least he's going to beat us there. I don't know what this thing is doing. 
kind of going back to where it was, but our level 6 is unfortunately a silver. 7.13 where gold is 7.20, so close, but at least got the two there. The female got away, but getting two males at one spot isn't a bad deal. And actually, there is that tiny lake there, so maybe we stumble into it anyway. One of these is bound to be... We also have a level 3 male, so we'll be sure to try to get that first. Probably reloading before we take a shot would be the better idea. Because once they take off, again, with it being nighttime, just going to be way tougher to figure out where they go. So, no idea which of the two females was actually the one that we saw back there. But if we can get them both, that would be ideal. That's that one. I'd imagine they'd go the same way, but I don't know where the level two went. Wherever it was, though, it completely disappeared. Regardless, we're past 3 a.m., but with the two that we got here, that's 14 in our little 45-minute run. And probably we weren't in some of the best areas. What we just saw there with three raccoon dogs all taken off is something that at the right lakes, you'll see fairly consistently. I think sometimes they just kind of get all clustered up into one area, and you end up getting opportunities at a lot of them as they trot away. So hopefully there are more chances like that in the next run, but I think that's a pretty decent start. Maybe not making what seems to be a terrible shot on this one, but it shouldn't be too much further. We must have been way too low. We hit it actually in like the front leg, but on the far side. Would have been a long shot if we had the height right, but 5.3. And we can jump back and rest to midnight. And I think we're going to try to go through like some of these lakes. We got all the small ones over here. These ones will probably take up the remainder of our second run and then hopefully the third run we can get through everything else this is at least a little bit of what i was talking about before we have four raccoon dogs all kind of lined up out here at this drink zone and i think if we want any chance of actually getting all four we'll have to sneak up closer first because probably they just flee that way a lot of times the best thing would be approaching them from the other direction because most likely they would cross right here in this shallow water but it would probably be a more problematic thing, like just cost us more time to go around them, so we'll try to make do from here. I'm not so sure getting closer hasn't done more harm than good, so we better go for it from here. I'm surprised they're as alert as they are, but let's get the six first. Shot too low to get the, uh, the potential gold, so that's a bit of a bummer. There's the five, and then we gotta try to get on target for the females. If we can, that's that one there. I think if we can get three, we're most likely to get all four. Just had to make sure we got that third one before they were basically up at the top of this hill. That'll be enough. Actually, I think we made a better shot on everything except the one sitting still, so go figure. But this goes back to the entire thing, and I've talked about the theory before. We started with Red Fox. Animals that spawn in pairs, it seems to yield better results to shoot the male and the female as far as what the respawns end up being. So... Again, literally every single one we take out is important. So this is... Oh, we actually got the level 6 in the lung. Black, white, gold. Not too bad. He's kind of decent as well, approaching the 8 kilo mark. We got the level 4, I think it was, or level 5. That one was a vital hit, though barely with the liver. And then were the other two. I can see vital blood there. 3 for 3 so far with another gray fur type. And then the last one, I think we might have a vital shot too. That turned out pretty good, so I guess getting close did actually end up working out, but four more raccoon dogs down. Every single one of those hopefully will go towards helping us get that diamond. And on stream, it just kind of goes to show how literally one kill can make a difference. We basically have not touched Reventuli Coast since the Great One Moose came out, at least for shooting moose. And yet, heading out there on stream, what do we run into while hunting for raccoon dogs, but a massive level 5 moose? Uh, what shotgun do you use the most? I probably use the 16 gauge the most. I've got the 12 gauge today. Mostly because 12, to be honest. Like, I didn't really have a, a reason for grabbing it other than 12 is, is 12. But I like... What on earth? Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. That might be a 300 moose. Not a great one, but, you know, I can pretty well promise you that wasn't there the last time we were here. Up to 309. Now, 
Now just stop. Don't do any kind of weird glitching. That'll work. Now he's going to be really cold in that water. Tis a nice bull indeed. Hopefully over 300. The last one we shot with this rack was... Was it 298 or something? It was kind of low. This one is 298. I, it maxed weight again. So it was the one on Medved. I feel like I jinxed that. 298.69. It's really here to troll me, isn't it? Big mail. And I think that just goes to show literally any kill we make could be the one that respawns as a level 9. Because again, I doubt we've shot 10 moose on Revan to the Coast since the population reset. And there was a level 5 from one of those that certainly wasn't in that area. So it was a respawn. And if we could just have that happen with the raccoon dogs, that would be fantastic. And yet again, we've got a group of three with two males. Now, I really think we're going to struggle to get all three here, but at least if we get the two males, that'll be decent, and I'm actually kind of wondering if we just switch the seven mil, if the female is kind of like still in sight after we get these two, but let's focus on actually making a decent shot here and not shooting way too low. A little bit late on that. That's good though. Maybe if they're going to run that way, is it running back towards us? Bit of an odd decision. And the female, I think the female did do what we'd expect and went up over the hill. Or actually, I don't know what is going on, but at least they're presenting shots. That's our male, and he's like barely hit. Seven mil is going to take down any raccoon dog we shot really quickly. And I mean, can we hit that? Would save time if we could, but we gotta go that way. At least we got the good one. 7.79 for that guy. We've had a bunch that are almost in that max weight range, which at least that's a plus. The other two, I think the female's right there. And I don't know how far the male got. In the meantime, we may get a chance at getting some others because it's going to be a, a bit of a lengthy run, but kind of is a shortcut across here where it's shallow. The female, though, was light brown shot in the stomach with the 7 mil. The male, on the other hand, looks like it went across here. It'll make sure you don't take the good shots for granted tracking one that far. I was going the other way. I still don't think we would have hit a long we were too low, but I thought it was facing us when we took that shot. Yet another one of the kind of challenges of hunting them at night, but I think that's number 25 or so. Just about 2 a.m. I don't know that we will get through all these lakes. There's just a lot of surface area to cover. That's a little bit better. A max would estimate finally but it's still a level 7, and we almost sent it running. We'll try to get a shot in there. We have gone on quite a stretch here of, like, nothing good. The total number of raccoon dogs rat is 36, and we're now doing some of the coastlines. We made it through all the lakes, and we're basically on what I think is going to be our last run through. I didn't even bring a collar for these guys, so I'm going to have to sneak into a spot and try to see him again. That's him there. That angle isn't good, but if we can just sort of move around enough to get his attention again, he should offer a shot. I mean, he saw us from over there before, just as long as he doesn't end up blocking his vitals with the rock. That should be a single lung hit, and at least we got another max with decimal one. Same as the two on stream, level seven, but still, it's just encouraging to actually see that estimate come up, especially after killing so many raccoon dogs. Like, again, we're, I think this is number 37 for the hunt today. That's a lot of them to not even see the max weight, because, like, compared to the Red Deer Great One grinds that we did, those videos typically, the ones, like, the Red Deer that would actually be included in the video, were max weight estimate, and our first max weight estimate out of 40, basically, is an 8.28 kilo, 8.38 score, gold, not too bad. Hopefully we can still improve on that in the last 20 minutes or so we have of Raccoon Dog drink time, but down here kind of on the far southwest side, which is one of the places I tend to see the most of them, so it makes sense. I would say, despite the fact that we haven't gone through the entirety of the coast just yet, there's a little bit left to go, and we're actually on this lake, which I think we did miss before. This might be a good place to wrap up. If we can get both of them, those will be numbers 39 and 40 on the hunt which is a pretty good solid run through and a good number to end on, I think. So right at 250 
should be able to do 04300. And then locating that one was a bit of a struggle. I think for the sake of it, we'll just go 7 mil. It'll be a lot simpler, though, to be fair, it was just stuck there, but now we don't have to track it. What I definitely did not expect, though, was just like how few seem to be along the coast. Another 8 plus there at 8.2. Not too bad. I wonder what the estimate is. It must be like 8.25 to 10 kilo or something like that, because that one's pretty close. But I do think the fact that most of our raccoon dogs seem to be at the lakes probably bodes well for us. We can go through all those lakes and see what appears to be the majority of the raccoon dogs on our map and hopefully shave a little bit of time off the overall runs, but not too bad for our first time out here during their drink time, 40 total, and a couple of decent ones here and there, a number of golds, and at least one max red estimate mail. But anyway, I think that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.